I really wanted to stop. Like, when I say I don't want to say any more names, like, none of us should. Rebecca Duran is now saying her son's name, Donovan Lewis, a Columbus police officer, shot and killed the 20 year old while he was in his own bed. NBC4 sat down with Duran earlier today. And we thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. And I'm Jared Smollett. Given today's advancements, NBC4 bringing you team coverage tonight. In just a minute, Carissa D'Agostino will have more on how students at Ohio State want the university to play a bigger role. Plus, investigative reporter Jamie Ostroff will break down new body cam footage taken from Officer Ricky Anderson. But first, our Carrie Charles spoke to the parents of Lewis. What did they tell you, Carrie? Yeah, his mother talked to her this morning. Today marks a week since Donovan Lewis's family members and their attorneys called for changes to CPD's policy regarding the execution of arrest warrants. Hours after their demands, Chief Elaine Bryan sent an internal memo announcing the division would be stopping the execution of pre-planned misdemeanor warrants, including those for domestic violence as well as nonviolent felony warrants. This from 11 at night until six in the morning and without the prior approval of a lieutenant or above. A misdemeanor warrant had been issued for Donovan Lewis for domestic violence and a felony warrant for gun charges. And he was shot in the middle of the night. Uh, every time something like this happens, we make a little bit of change or we talk about change or we set up a committee or whatever the case may be. And then another young black kid, another young kid is killed and taken away from this earth. We have to put a stop to it forever. And that is going to take dramatic change. I sat down with attorneys for Rebecca Duran Thursday morning. Um, okay. Columbus police officer Ricky Anderson shot and killed Duran's son, Donovan Lewis. August 30th, while serving arrest warrants in the middle of the night. Absolutely didn't follow what they were supposed to as it relates to Andre's law. They are supposed to provide immediate treatment, and they didn't do that. Andre's law requires Columbus police to request aid from emergency medical services upon the use of force that results in serious bodily harm, as well as the rendering of medical aid under certain circumstances. The law, named after Andre Hill, shot and killed by a Columbus police officer in December of 2020. They were doing things to protect themselves as opposed to protect him, as opposed to giving him the life-saving treatment that could have saved his life. Minutes matter in, in those situations, and they wasted many, many minutes trying to handcuff him, trying to take him out. You know, they should have immediately got him to a hard surface and started, you know, doing the life-saving treatments that, that, that they should have done, and they absolutely violated Andre's law. Duran says she learned of what happened to her son from his pregnant girlfriend. I got a frantic phone call from the girlfriend telling me that something had happened, but she was not clear at the moment what had happened either. Um, so obviously I freaked out and I called the police to try and get information. I initially just thought like that that he, they were they arrested him. Like, I mean, she was freaking out, but I I just thought maybe it was just a, a simple, like a simple arrest. I never dreamed my baby would be dead. We will break down. We will break down how long it took for officers to provide aid in just a moment. We did ask the division of police to address the attorney's concerns surrounding Andre's law, but it says there is no further comment at this time. We do think it is important to mention the law also requires the use of body worn cameras while engaging with the public and that recruits receive CPR and basic medical training and periodic retraining. Jen. Carrie, thank you. New at five, a representative from Mayor Andrew Ginther's office has responded to that interview with Lewis's mother. His spokesperson tells us they feel and share in Rebecca Duran's grief and pain over the death of her son, Donovan Lewis. BCI is investigating the shooting. Be assured that internal reviews will take place on every aspect after any criminal investigations conclude and that the inspector general has already committed to her own review after the criminal investigation.